to NURFM.com, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. To NURFM 103.7, and I've got to say that in true uh, Meryl Swanson fashion, around about 15 minutes ago, she's just run into the studio and got, got to go to the loo. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Nothing changed. And she's just, woof, she's gone out the door. As I mentioned a little bit earlier on, it's, it's, there's been some hubbub around Newcastle and the Hunter for the last few days or so, and it has only really been the last few days that or everything has changed, not only changed around here, but changed in your life, Ms Swanson. You are, well, I'm not going to spoil the fun, but let's say you're taking a dip into a different world. Good I morning. Am. Good morning. It's so great to be here. I'm putting my hand up to run for candidacy for the seat of Paterson. So I'm putting my hand up for pre-selection for the Australian Labor Party, Todd, and saying, I want to be your candidate for Paterson. And yes, I'm so excited. In fact, I don't think I've been this excited since I, was, I found out I was pregnant, but I'm equally a little bit terrified too, because it's, you know, it's a big step to say to the people of Paterson and more broadly, the Hunter, I want to be your spokesperson. I want to stick up for you, be a really strong voice for our area. Well, it's interesting you say that you haven't been this excited since you've been pregnant because you're <laughs> going to have a lot of babies to kiss. You've got to have a lot of hands to shake and basically a, a lot of people to get to know. I've got to say, honestly, I'm not overly surprised because I know you're one of those people that in any way, shape or form, you're a doer, not a sayer. So Thank when you. it comes to getting out into the community, when it comes to doing something, and it was interesting to read that you said that that's, that's the only way you really thought you could make change was by taking that step into politics. Not the only way, but another way. I love radio, Todd. You, you know how much I love radio. We talk about this a lot. It is such a great way to get to know your community. And I've talked to so many people over the last eight years, particularly from the Valley. And they've said, you know, my kids can't get jobs. I'm worried about my health care. What's going on in education? We need someone to stick up for us. And whilst I love talking to people and I love being an advocate on the radio, I know that I can make a difference if I get the chance to serve in Parliament. Well, it's one of those things. You're getting some skin in the game and whichever yeah. side anyone decided to go from. And, and one of the things that we've spoken about a lot on the air and off the air over the last well, probably 20, 30 years, but over a long period of time, politics should be a profession that is right at the top of the list when yes. it comes to credibility. We, we joke about it, but unfortunately, it's not the case. And, and, and most Australians, most you know, average everyday mum and dad, they don't. They don't believe politicians. They don't believe what they're going to say. So that's a bit of a tough call for you, but I suppose it's, it's a challenge as well. It is a challenge, and I totally get that. I'm actually not a politician. I, I'm not. You know, I am just such a straight-talking person who's passionate, and I'm not going to lose any of that, Todd. I want to take that. I want to take my qualities with me if I'm fortunate enough to get the candidacy. I want to take that with yeah. me. And people who listen to me on the radio and who know me know that I've always, always been passionate about this area. I just love the place. I you love do. the people. And I want to do something. And so I have got skin in the game. I've resigned from the job that I love and said, I want to do this because I think I can do a good job. Well, look, thank you, because it's worked out very well. That, uh, <laughs> you're getting a sleep in. That's <laughs> why you're happy. I, I know what you're up to. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, getting back to radio, it's going to be sad to see you go. Um, I, I'm doing my best not to tear up. I'm, I'm just... I'm sorry, I can't so even make on. eye contact I, with you. I think I've got, got, I think I got might a, have a hanky Yeah, for as long you as it's somewhere. not a tissue. Yeah. What will you miss about radio before you uh, jump into the, the new venture? Oh, hands down, the people. You know, the, not only the beautiful people that I work with here at 2NUR, but the people who phone the show, the people that I interview. I mean, we have talked to, and you will continue to talk to, some brilliant people who've got fantastic ideas for our area. And I'll just miss that contact, but I'll be out actually pressing the flesh. I always say, you know, people invite us into their kitchens and their cars. Well, now I'm literally, you know, going to be going to their kitchen and possibly not their cars, but you never know. See, I'm smiling because I, I could imagine when you'd go on your door knocking, there's going to be a knock at someone's door and it's going to be, hi, Meryl, can I use your loo? Oh, I'm busting. Can I go to the loo? <laughs> Honestly, let her in because it will be well and truly worth your while. Look, uh, our loss is politics gain. We wish you all the best. It's been wonderful having you around and uh, you have brought so much to the station. It's been lovely just having your smile and your laugh and from my point of view it's been wonderful working with you. We wish Thank you all you. the best. However, there's one problem I, I need to get on the record now. Sure. Glad that, on me. That should, if everything moves through, I, I don't think I can ever call you the right honourable. 
Yeah, that's okay, I'm just going to call you Mez. Is that okay? Mez will always be what you should call me, Todd. Fantastic. <laughs> PM Todd, Mez. Can I just have my little bit? Uh, I just want to say thank you. You have been such a mentor to me, as has Wayne and the crew here at 2NUR. And I just want to say to our beautiful listeners, my dear listeners, thank you so much. Todd will look after you. I have valued your loyalty and friendship. You know me. I feel I know you. And it's been wonderful. And thank you. And I look forward to doing more things for you in the future. Fantastic. You Thanks. have a wonderful day Cheers. and it's going to be a very, very exciting journey. Uh, she's always going to be our Meryl Swanson on 2NURFM.